Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. This is going to be a general reading to tap into the energy to see what's coming in, going out, going on. And we see promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals. Be thankful. Right now we have coffee, plain toast. So some of you all may be celebrating some good news that may have come in. Maybe some of you all are working on some new things and you're getting the green light that uh, what you're working on is absolutely very lucrative. I feel a good energy around y'all, but I also feel that there's a lot of haters. So you already know, Scorpio, everybody's not going to celebrate your success, so that's why you got to keep it on the hush. That pay increase keeps showing up, so some of y'all are receiving promotions at your job. Some of you may have received unexpected promotions. Maybe some of you all have received a check in the mail just random that you wasn't expecting. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been working very hard. And now, as I said, through you completing those cycles and ending those uh, cycles, you are now starting to have all of this abundance, all of the rewards start to come in. Many of you have been manifesting um, a lot of the changes that are coming in. So with the song Toast, I definitely feel a lot of you are in celebrate celebratory mode, like you're celebrating. Um, so that's dope. So for all of you who may be new, I am Q. I am also Scorpio. I am for the audience. I incorporate music into my readings. Uh, this is a general reading for all of you. Um, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video is exactly the divine time intended for you all to do so. I do call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Ula, Mama Yemenya, Mama Oshun, Mama or Baba Alegoa, intuition and discernment on my part. I call also upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mode it be, ashe, ashe, ashe. This is the success card, financial freedom. Many of you are breaking some sort of yoke with your finances. If a lot of you have been um, really, you know, dealing in a spirit of lack, concern with how you're going to make ends meet, I feel like there's definitely, so look at this, it's still here. So I do feel like your finances are improving. I feel like there's some sort of success that you all are experiencing and it is due in part to your hard work. So this is, you know, the divine acknowledging all that you have done. And I feel like right now you're absolutely coming into a time of receiving. So we have right now, um, Pebbles girlfriend. So let's see what's going on. Maybe those haters were, you know, folks that you called your girlfriends for females. You know how we call our, our sister friends, our girlfriend. That's my girlfriend, you know. Or maybe this is for some of the fellas, a girlfriend. Or maybe for some of you who are in same-sex relationships, girlfriend. So we have love and happiness, spiritual needs. So maybe some of you all will be becoming a girlfriend very soon or becoming a, a, a boyfriend, becoming into a more serious uh, connection. Um... I definitely feel like there were a lot of breakthroughs and you all are now experiencing some rewards. So give me one moment. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. So, yes. So I see love and happiness, spiritual union. And remember, we have Pebbles playing. So in this song, she says, girlfriend, how could you let him treat you so bad? Um, you know, you were the best he ever had. So as I said, maybe this is speaking to, you know, some of you all who have broken some sort of karma, 
um, karmic cycles, completed some sort of karmic cycles. We do have frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that here. So I definitely feel somebody's hating on your happiness, on the fact that you've broken free. Um, so let's tap into them and see what's coming in. Here. So let's see. All right. I do feel some of y'all are coming into new spiritual unions with that love and happiness. So the bottom of the deck, see that? Look, love and happiness. So you all are coming into a spiritual um, union. And I feel like it's because you all have created um, a space to do so. Meaning many of you have absolutely focused on your happiness, focused on yourselves, focused on healing, focused on you know, coming into alignment with your higher self and releasing what wasn't serving your highest good. I feel like whoever you was dealing with in the past, I feel they definitely played a major part in some of you all or most of you all uh, doing that internal work. They were not, um, they were not who you thought they were. I feel like a lot of them were definitely Judas energy, which are very deceptive individuals, very self-serving individuals, people you cannot trust. Um, right now we have um, Chrisette Michelle, a couple of forevers. So this goes in alignment with love and happiness. So many of you, because you've broken free and released a past person, you're absolutely coming into a more beautiful and more profound love ship. Um, and this is going to feel like this person was especially made for you. This is someone that you all have absolutely called in. I feel like with the mirror reflects on the bottom of the deck, it says, can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? And it says, check yourself. So because a lot of you have just come out of doing that dark night of the soul work, and because you've been on your spiritual journey and you've healed some of your traumas, I feel like now you've released certain things uh, that were not serving your highest good, whether they were belief systems, whether they were attitudes, behaviors. And now that you've, you know, released or that side of you is no longer, um, you know, it doesn't, no, it doesn't no longer affect you. Um, I feel like now, because there is the sense of love for self, you're going to come into union with someone who's also vibrating on that same frequency. And this person's absolutely going to love you. All of you love you for who you are, love you for who you aren't. Um, and this is someone that the divine, I feel, is aligning you with. So divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpio? Divine uh, spirit of love and light. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Divine uh, spirit. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Divine uh, spirit of love and light. So we got a lot of messages here. So we're going to take them. So we have Baba Ogun. And it says breakthroughs, victory, success. So that falls right in line with all of the uh, messages pertaining uh, the financial freedom, um, lucrative business deals. Uh, this is you uh, breaking free from whatever was binding you and keeping you stuck and stagnant, um, especially in love, but also in terms of you know your life, your finances. Um, and just personally, maybe a lot of you felt like life was very stagnant. Things were stagnant. They weren't moving for you. Um, in the ways that you wanted and I feel like it really truly played a major part in regards to who you had around you uh, These individuals could have been breaking um, oh, Could have been blocking excuse me um, Your blessings like literally when you have the wrong type of people around you they could really truly affect um, You know your life, you know because they're like energy vampires and they tend to project a lot of their insecurities and a lot of their um insufficiencies onto you and so you don't see what you're fully capable of because of the projection um and that's why that you know mirror reflects you know are they a mirror reflection of you card came up so i feel like this person whoever this was um definitely are someone who is in their dark side they they really reflected uh dark aspects of you whether it was insecurities um whether it was a lack of confidence um, this person really played a major part in, in really putting those characteristics, you know, that's not really a characteristic, but they brought those things to the forefront more than, you know, the light, you know, so I feel like with this breakthrough, Baba Ogun is, you know, really very significant in helping you have a breakthrough by, you know, really chopping away, you know, at the negativity like cutting the cords 
breaking free from any type of generational curses or any type of thing, um, you know, anything that may bind you um, energetically, emotionally, you know, psychologically. So that's beautiful. And then we have the chemistry is real, words unspoken, love. So there is love coming in, as I said, and I feel, as I said, that there's going to be this very um, amazing, you know, connection. It's going to be an attraction that is really something you cannot deny. Um, and I feel like when you meet this person, the two of you are going to just kind of lock in on one another and you're not even going to see anything or anyone else around you. It's really going to be a very magnetic pull. For both of you all, I feel this synergy, I feel this chemistry, and I feel this very powerful connection. We have infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying. So I definitely feel like that's what a lot of you did when you were, you know, kind of going through your dark night of the soul. Um, it's a very, very turbulent journey. It's very painful. It's not an easy process. I know it looks easy when you're on the outside looking in um, for most people. They don't see, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. But I feel like for a lot of you, um, you maintained your strength and you leaned on it. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, you really leaned on your ancestors, your angels, your guides. And they also kept you uh, pushing forward, you know, picking yourself up from the bootstrap. Um, we have a Leah playing rock the boat. So I definitely feel like, you know, this person that's coming in is really going to like, they're going to rock your boat. They also could be at a distance. I feel like there was a lot of turbulence in a former relationship and, um, but it didn't shake you. It didn't even, it didn't discourage you from still desiring to have, you know, a love that's you know, especially for you. So this is beautiful. And that's why you have to keep your head to the sky and keep trying because you continue to persevere. You remained resilient regardless of how things appeared. Um, the next card we have is spiritual baths are necessary. Sea salt, egg cleanse, and Florida water. So these are just a couple of ways that you can, you know, clean, clear, cleanse any dormant energy, any negative energy. Um, spiritual baths are something you should be doing at least once or twice a month. Um, if you really feel a heaviness, you should do it at least once a week. I know when you initially do it, you should do it for three days or seven days consecutively just to ensure that you um, that you purge whatever's trying to cling on to you. Because we did see the Judas card and we also saw frenemies. So there is, you know, uh, the potential of having people not only giving you evil eye, but also uh, praying on your downfall, wishing bad would happen to you. Um, just really, um, you know, sending out bad juju to you. Um, even going to, you know, as far as to do ritual work, spell work on you, doing witchcraft to try to block your blessings. But I feel like with this breakthrough card, um, you all don't need to worry about your haters. Your haters absolutely need to worry about you because people who throw things think that they are somehow um, invincible to having, you know, the same um, energy they're throwing out return. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all are saying like return to sender because you already feel um, people seething at your happiness, at your joy, at this, just the fact that you're free, um, just the fact that you're coming into uh, the abundance, coming into uh, wish fulfillment. So the spiritual baths are necessary because people could be doing some sort of ritual work. And so this is a way to, you know, get ahead of the game to ensure that you're not affected in any way because these individuals were successful in the past. Uh, for blocking your blessings and trying to thwart your plans because I feel many of you were in a state of confusion because you didn't really know who was who in your circle. You didn't really know um, that you had these individuals um, that were preying on your downfall. Um, but I feel you absolutely, uh, when you awaken to that truth and when you were aware, um, you know, that the love that you were giving to others were not being reciprocated, um, they definitely... Um, your, your ancestors stepped it up and they led you to the truth. So you all started to take the necessary precautions um, in wearing your protective ambulance. Some of you are already taking spiritual baths. Some of you are already um, incorporating like egg cleanses um, to release 
and purge the negativity that you may be feeling. I feel like a lot of you also know to smudge your homes on a regular basis with Palo Santo. Some of you are purchasing spiritual kits and baths and candles and whatever you can get your hands on just to keep the energy in your home um, peaceful, you know, because your home is your sanctuary. It's where you rest your head. This is where you reside. So you want to make sure that, you know, anything um, that anyone is sending, it cannot penetrate your walls. So that's powerful. Um, and we have a uh, public enemy rebel without a pause. So I do feel like these people are going to be relentless. They're not going to stop until they feel that they've succeeded. So with rebel without a pause, I feel like these people have, you know, absolutely rebelled against you, rebelled against perhaps the friendship that you all thought you had, rebelled against even the love ship or even just the, I would say the loyalty and of the sanctity of the connections that you thought and I'm saying you thought you had because it was an illusion these people were not um, they definitely were not on your side they definitely were not uh, happy with your successes or they were not who you thought they were so I do feel like with rebel without a pause playing I do feel like these people are going to be relentless they're not going to let up until they feel um, that they see you suffer like it's almost like these people want to see you suffer and we have unplug disconnect unwind and connect to your higher self so many of you may be taking the time out to go into that hermit mode. Um, this is the time for that. This is a uh, Virgo season. So I do feel like a lot of you are retreating. You know, you're taking that time to really connect, to really meditate. And I feel like this is perhaps how you all are coming to these grand epiphanies um, that certain people that were in your circle um, were definitely not rooting for you, but they were in fact trying to put roots on you, trying to um, send, you know, negative energy your way. Just energy vampirism is real. Um, and we have on the bottom of the deck, treat yourself, you deserve it. And it says self-love is the best love. So I feel like for a lot of you, you, you started to become more selfish with your time, with your energy. I also feel like the divine wants you to reward yourself. Don't forget to give yourself that love to show yourself that attention um i'm hearing aphrodite divine feminine divine masculine energy so definitely when you know that you are the divine feminine the divine masculine um that's about you know loving yourself that's about sensuality that's about embracing even your sexuality um being more caring being more nurturing to yourselves practicing healthy self-care encompasses everything like um you know going and getting a spa getting a massage um, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, just treating yourself, taking care of yourself, going out and, and getting a whole new wardrobe, um, doing things that make you feel good about you because that's what um, self-love is. When you love yourselves, um, you know, that definitely will make you more attractive. And I feel like that's why there's potentially this magnetism that's coming in uh, because the chemistry is real. So this is really saying like words aren't even necessary because you're going to feel the energy um, of this person. It's like they're going to um, they're going to emit this love. And I feel like it's vice versa that both of you, the chemistry is going to just really connect the two of you. So that's powerful. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's clarify these messages here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have I am an alchemist. I create the potions and elixirs to life. So many of you definitely uh, took time because this is like the star card in my deck. So I feel like a lot of you have been focusing on healing. And as I said, um, you know, with the infinite possibilities, that's about remaining hopeful. That's also about really, you know, uh, praying and wishing on a star, you know, knowing that there's infinite possibilities, not giving up on your dreams. Um, this is also about co-creating with source, with universe, uh, mastering your plan, devising new plans, um, and also like releasing what no longer serves you, grounding yourself, healing yourself. Um, and this is also like magnetism, star quality. So others see your star quality. That could be why there was a lot of frenemies around you, haters, people who are je jealous of you. But I feel with this empath card, you knew intuitively you're, you're highly empathic. And I feel like this is why these individuals were able to get so close to you, Scorpios, because you are empaths. You do love hard. Um, you are loyal individuals and you're faithful. And so when you love someone, you love them good, bad, ugly, indifferent. It doesn't matter. You're going to love them. 
Um, but I feel like once you realize people are not who you thought they were, or once you realize that people were not really rocking with you like that, once you realize people were really preying on your downfall, not really um, your friends, I feel like you cut that energy off. And I feel like your, your angels and guides really led you to these breakthroughs. They gave you these divine interventions, downloads, and I feel like that's how you were able to um, see what was going on. Um, we have Let Me Ride, um, playing by Dr. Dre. So these people was trying to ride your coattail, I'm picking up. Uh, they just wanted to ride for free. They didn't want to contribute. They didn't want to add on. They didn't want to give. They just wanted to ride your coattail for free. They didn't want to put in the work. They didn't want to honor the, the relationship by um, equal give and take. They didn't want to do any of that. They just wanted to benefit. And they wanted to benefit from your hard work uh, because they see that you have star quality. They see that you are stars. They see that you know how to make things happen. The alchemist is literally uh, someone who makes things happen, who, who can change um, their lives by focusing intention, um, by knowing how to co-create, by transmuting negative energy. This is someone who is a chemist, an alchemist. This is a magician. This is someone who focuses on intention. And before you know it, whatever they were focusing on is manifested um, in real time, in lightning speed. So I do feel like now you all are very protective of your space, your energy, your time. I feel because you're empathic, you're picking up on people's energy. So you know not to give as much as you were before. I feel like many of you aren't giving anything uh, because you're in this protective bubble and you're not allowing yourselves to be distracted, disturbed, um, because you're busy creating. I feel like many of you are, um, if, if you're not creating for a business um, or creating uh, a new way of thinking or creating new ideas um, for future plans, I feel like many of you are just really honed in and focused on recreating yourself, um, reinvigorating um, you know, certain plans, your life, restructuring. I do feel like there's a sense of restructuring. And that's why there's these breakthroughs because you maintained, um, you know, this, 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 this dream, you know, you maintained this resilience to acquire, to uh, access this dream because you knew that there were infinite possibilities. The star is the number eight in uh, traditional tarot. And so that eight sideways is the infinity uh, symbol. So I feel like you all never let up hope. You never gave up hope. Um, you pray to your guides, to your angels, to your ancestors. For many of you, um, you work with Baba Ogun. Um, and so I feel like for many of you, that's what kept you resilient. That's what kept you strong. That's what kept you focused on your prize. You kept your eyes on your prize. And so, you know, yeah, see that? You were spiritually guided and divinely protected. So just as I'm speaking about you all working with your deities, your angels, they were guiding you. They were spiritually guiding you and they were giving you these divine downloads and transmissions. You were receiving divine intervention. And it was to number one, protect yourself, to not allow yourselves to be accessible to everyone and anything, to really protect your energy, to really make sure to um, you know, cleanse yourselves because there was a lot of hatred, a lot of negativity. And the thing about it is, you know, people think they're so cunning. They think because you may not know uh, what they're doing in private and secret, um, they don't take into consideration the fact that you all have, we all have angels and guides that work in our favor. And I feel like they definitely um, didn't take into account uh, that you all have a very powerful, very powerful spiritual team that does not play about you. Your angels are very protective of you. The divine protects you. And when the divine protects you, who can be against you? You know, so you're spiritually guided and divinely protected. And so let's tap into the divine spirit of love and light. What's coming and going out going on for all the Scorpios uh, spirit? And a lot of these people are resorting to gossiping, you know, and words are spells and spells bind. And so that's what a lot of them were doing. You know, like I said, a lot of them was just, you know, resorting to saying negative things about you, speaking untruths. Um, but everything that they're saying, I'm hearing they're going to have to eat their words because they're upset because they couldn't ride your coattail for free. They're upset because you've cut them off, you know, and this is what happens when, you know, people reveal that they are uh, snakes, that they are devils. Um, they start showing who they truly are. But a lot of these people are jealous. You know, when you when your name is in someone's mouth and you ain't thinking of them, that just speaks to the power that you have. Um, they wake up thinking about you. 
you know, they go to bed thinking about you, you know, thinking of ways to, to summon some sort of negativity uh, in your life or summon some sort of demonic entity to destroy you. Meanwhile, you have angels and guides block a block a block and all of that shit. So these people are jealous and that's why people resort to talking. And a lot of these people you haven't even spoken to in a while. So they're just making up stuff. You know, they're just making up things because if you're not communicating with people, how can they come up with lies? Um, these are people who are really trying hard to defame your character, trying very hard to get other people to dislike you, um, to dismiss you, to not um, see you in the light that you are ob obviously radiating, especially with that star energy. So we have Lincoln Park playing and this song, I'm trying to hear it, and it says um, New Divide. So with New Divide, that's what this person is trying to do. They're trying to devise a plan to uh, bring division, you know, bring other people, you know, pull people on their side, you know, to, to make people look at you in a different way, but it's not going to work. Um, and this, unfortunately, were people who you really invested emotionally, your time, your energy, your love, your attention to. And while you were doing this, they were trying to devise plans to destroy you. Um, and these are people who feel like they can win through the concept of destroy, uh, um, I'm sorry, divide and conquer. So they feel like if they can divide, you know, the, the, the folks that do like you, if they can bring more people on their side to, to hate, to spew lies, to gossip, then they can take you down and it's not going to work. It's going to blow up in their face. See that access denied. So these people are salty because they do not have access to your life. I feel like you've blocked a lot of these people because you were spiritually guided to do so. But I also feel like these people are not going to be able to succeed in their plans. There's access denied. So that means that your angels and guides absolutely are protecting you. I also feel like your angels were protecting you from this connection because you really love these individuals, but these individuals did not love you. I feel like they definitely negatively impacted your stability, your security. They impacted a lot in your life. I feel now, you know, because you've released that person, you're coming into union with someone who you're going to have not only love, but also happiness. This is going to be a spiritual union. So I feel like the both of you are uh, going to be able to build on spiritual concepts. Both of you are really spiritual beings. So this is going to be a connection where the two of you may both, um, you know, just have some of the same ideals um, and, and, and have the same practices. You believe in meditating. You believe in, you know, you know, um, yoga. You know, you believe in connecting with source, with nature. Um, you know, a lot of you all are just going to meet someone who's very like-minded. And I feel the two of you are going to be very invested in this connection for long-term commitment. But both of you have like that happily ever after. Um, you're both looking for something real. Uh, because I feel like this person also has been through similar um, experiences. So, and someone may try to divide this connection, may try to come in uh, because they don't want you to be happy. See that? What was I saying? This person is going to try to come in because they don't want you to be happy, and it's because they're an attention whore. So, they're going to do the most, um, you know, they're going to do the most to try to distract you. Uh, because this person sees that you are in a very happy union, in a spiritual union. I feel like this person is not going to be able to affect anything because this is a protective union, especially with Baba Ogun right here. He's giving you this, this, this blessing of a new love. And this person is not just any type of love. This is someone that is going to speak your love language, Scorpios. This is going to be someone that speaks the same love language, but also someone who's going to vibrate on the same frequency same wavelength. This is someone who's going to be communicative. This is going to be someone that you've especially called in, that you've manifested. Um, and we have here, what did I say? You have people who are in secret, secret competitions with you. Keep your business to yourself. So remember in the biz, in the beginning of the reading, um, you had a lot of cards speaking to financial freedom, lucrative business deals. Um, so that means that there's a lot of success coming in. These individuals have been hating on you since day one. And they're really hating because now they're seeing that all that they were doing to bring you down is not working because you're still successful. 
You're still coming into love ships. You're still having success. You're healthy. You're growing. You're vibing. You're, you're on a whole different frequency. And these people are going to do whatever. So they're going to try to come around with their antics and crazy semantics, trying to distract you off this path, off this new journey, this new beginning with this person. But I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, for many of you, you're you're going to stay focused on what's um, most important. And that's your happiness. That's the fact that you're going to feel this love from this new partner. But this person is a hater. This person is absolutely in a secret competition. And they're pissed off because what they were doing, it didn't work. You know, and I feel like you're giving these people something to to speak about because they're watching you from a distance, you know, even though you're not communicating with them because you blocked them and your ancestors have blocked them. Um, I also feel like, you know, there is a potential that they could be like stalking you online, watching you online, summoning other people to do the same. And that's why there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of talk. There's a lot of chatter about Scorpios because people are watching you um, from a distance, live your best lives. And they're really perturbed. They're really disturbed. Also mentally, I'm hearing. Um, so divine spirit, love and love. And one more shuffle. All right. So why is Baba Ogun here? Divine spirit, love and light. Why is Baba Ogun here for Scorpios? Divine spirit, love and light. Who's these people here concerned with Scorpio? Why is Baba Ogun here? Divine spirit. Why is Baba Ogun here? God loves Scorpios. But yeah, you're going to be really in a blissful time. And these folks are really upset. So it says, you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. So you see this, this is why Baba Ogun is here because you're gonna have a breakthrough in terms of a connection. Um, you're gonna meet someone that is gonna feel like uh, a dream. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna feel like, you know, someone that you couldn't even imagine on your best day, you know, because this connection is something that I feel the divine is conspiring behind the scenes. Uh, to bring to you because you all have worked really hard to complete that karmic cycle. You've worked through some really painful um, situations. Uh, and I feel like, you know, this person in the past, being as though they're coming out as this attention whore, um, I do feel like there was a betrayal. Um, there was a betrayal that was very difficult for you all to um, heal from, but you did the work. And you did the work because you knew your worth and value. You did the work because you started to love yourselves. You did the work because you realized that this person was absolutely a mirror reflection of who you used to be. So maybe in your past, that dark side of you uh, was someone insecure, was someone who uh, was afraid of love, someone who didn't really fully understand love because maybe some of you, you know, rooting to your childhood, dating back to your childhood, maybe you didn't grow up with a father figure or a mother figure. So that impacted the way that you perceived love relationships, love connections. But I feel like for you all, many of you had breakthroughs. And when you had those breakthroughs, you were able to, you know, come into this new paradigm, this new life. You killed a version of yourself that no longer honored who you were evolving into, transforming into. And so now you're realizing not only how special you are, but someone also that's coming in is going to realize how special you are. And this person is someone who's going to treat you exactly the way you deserve to be treated. And look at this. <laughs> These people are going to be haters. And this is why Baba Ogun is here, because this is a protected union. This is a protected spiritual union that your angels and guides are absolutely bringing you into. Um, you know, it's, they're bringing you into this union. Uh, because I feel like, you know, as I said, they're conspiring behind the scene because you've done the work. You know, you only get rewarded when you do the work. And so the divine is rewarding you with success, emotional um, fulfillment, as well as financial fulfillment. And these folks are hating because everything they did, you know, was um, it, it kind of blew up in their face and they're, and they're pissed off. Uh, we have NWA fuck the police. So I feel like what these people are doing you know, because the name, the acronym for NWA is niggas with attitude. So I think that these people have attitudes. I feel like they're really perturbed. They're really frustrated because nothing that they're doing is working. And and then no matter no, how much they try to throw at you, it's like it, it it's like you're ch changing it, just like the the alchemist does. You're you're, you're transforming it. You're like um, 
you're transmuting the negativity and you're turning it into something powerful. Um, and I feel like this is what they're really seething at. This is what they're really frustrated about. I feel like there's also a sense that, um, you know, they're being the ops. I'm hearing that word ops. So it's like, as I was saying before, like they spying because it says fuck the police. So I feel like this person could be doing things, um, you know, to spy in, um, you know, on your life to see what's going on. So they're, they're, it's almost like they're acting like the police. So they're kind of driving by your home or they're, you know, going online, tuning into your channel. If you have a YouTube channel or even if you just have regular uh, social media accounts, they're just like every day. This is what they do day in, day out. You know, before they go to bed at night, when they wake up in the AM, that's the first thing they're doing. I feel like they're overly concerned with you because they're in this competition. So when you're in a competition with someone, it's like you are so like you're focused on that person and what they're doing. You're not focusing on how to master your own craft. And remember, in the beginning, we had coffee singing toast. So they're watching you have some sort of victory, some sort of success. And they're really upset by that. They're really pissed off. Um, right now we have um, Burning Spear, Road Foggy. So these individuals are really blurred. Um, they, they don't realize, you know, like what's happening in terms of why you're receiving the success. They're foggy. They're, this is self-deception. This is also projection. They're projecting their lack of efficiency and, and confidence and esteem onto you and this is blurring their vision this is preventing them from seeing the truth and the truth is they're the problem not you the truth is they're their only competition not you and i feel like for a lot of you you all were very blurred in how you saw these individuals because you wanted to see the good in these individuals that were your frenemies that were your snakes that were your secret comp competitors and I feel like once you, you know, remove that veil from your eyes, you were able to see clearly um, who these individuals were and that they were, in fact, very deceptive, very envious and jealous of you. And um, so let's tap into it. So these people are very jealous of these breakthroughs. They're jealous of your victory, your success, your happiness. They're realizing that you're special. Um, they're realizing that you're unique. They're realizing you're a star. Divine Spirit, why is the chemistry is real? Thank you, Spirit. See this? Look at the success. This is powerful. So you all have this success. You have this abundance. And I feel like the chemistry is real. Words are unspoken. So a lot of you are just radiating this energy of success, of confidence, of self-love. Um, and this is just magnetically pulling things to you. There's this star quality, as I said earlier. This card represents money. It represents manifesting your dreams, uh, wish fulfillment, um, and that could be in pertinence to not only financial um, abundance, but also love, happiness. I feel with the chemistry is real. Um, this person that's coming in is also going to be very successful financially, and I feel like this is why um, the two of you are going to have this love and happiness, and this, this union is very, very spiritual. Um, and this person is going to be seething. They're jealous. Um, and this person obviously has mommy, daddy issues. Maybe the person who's doing all of this hating, um, who's really trying to defame your character, um, who's really working hard to, you know, bring others, uh, to def divide and conquer is someone that you may have had a child with this or children this could be like the mother to your child the father to your child this person definitely has mommy daddy issues i was picking up on that someone who was not shown love um you know not a, not in an effective manner not in a positive manner when they were younger and so they have a very difficult time being vulnerable and they have a very um unfortunate misunderstanding of what love is so they fear it i feel like for a lot of you um, because, you know, maybe this person who was the mother or father to your child was so negative, was so toxic. Um, it was very difficult to, you know, to navigate that connection, that relationship. But I feel like for many of you, you just continue to persevere through, you know, this relationship, you know, the, the traumas, the drama within this dynamic. Um, and you kept pushing forward. We have um, ascension. No one's going to love you. Um, so don't ever wonder by Maxwell. So yeah, this is exactly what happened. So your ascension, 
um, definitely has given someone um, a lot of, of, of frustration. They're really frustrated uh, at the fact that they could not negatively affect you in the way that they could have in the past. I feel like you maintained that hope, that optimism, that you're destined for greatness. Um, I feel like a lot of you also were focused on, you know, obtaining your dreams. And with this mind on my money, money on my mind, I feel like many of you began to really just focus on your stability, your security. And that's why, as I said, you're having these breakthroughs and you're having this, you know, this sense of stability in your life because many of you stopped focusing on the problem and you focused more on the solution. And as you did that, this is, you know, that's the epitome of, you know, seeing infinite possibilities, even when everything around you seems daunting. Um, you kept your head to the sky. You prayed, you know, you spoke positive affirmations daily. Uh, you listened to, you know, guided meditations. Many of you took those nature walks. Many of you spoke to your angels and your guides and asked for the strength to come through those difficulties. I feel like, you know, a lot of you also healed some sort of um, familial traumas, issues within yourselves. And that's probably why this person was mirroring certain um, certain characteristics or at behaviors, I should say, um, back to you. Because maybe some of you also suffered from mommy, daddy issues, didn't grow up, uh, you know, with tight connections with your mothers or your fathers. And so these individuals came in as a mirror um, to show you what needed to be healed within yourselves. Um, and as you heal that, that doesn't mean that you got to accept the negativity back into your life, but you do heal it so that it no longer hurts you moving forward. And so I feel like if you did suffer from abandonment issues or you had toxic connections with your mothers or your fathers for feminine or masculine, I feel like as you did that internal work, as you healed as a, on a soul level, that brought you into your spiritual alignment and ascension as Maxwell is stating. So I feel like with this ascension that you all are experiencing, it was because you remained hopeful um, and you saw that you had infinite possibilities and that that person was not going to stop you or stunt your growth, that you were made for greatness, that it was your birthright to live in abundance, to have love, happiness, success, peace, and joy in your life. And whoever has their issues, that's theirs. It's not yours to carry anymore. So Divine Spirit, why is infinite possibilities? Keep your head to the sky here. Divine Spirit, 11 night, why is infinite possibilities? Keep your head to the sky here. Thank you, Spirit. Look at that fiery wall of protection, Archangel Mikael. And I called upon Archangel Mikael during the, the uh, intro of the reading. So many of you definitely have divine protection. Remember that access denied card. That's telling you that you were being protected from someone who was trying to uh, block your blessings from those who are secret haters, from those frenemies, from those enemies, those snakes, from those Judas energies, from those incubus succubus energies and energy vampires. You were being protected from all of that. And I feel like regardless of what they was throwing at you, whatever juju, voodoo, hoodoo, Santa Maria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work, whatever witchcraft that was being thrown at you, it was being blocked. Fiery wall of protection is you having an unpenetrable shield of protection around you. And I feel like a lot of you, that's what you were doing. You were calling on your guides, calling on your angels, asking for the strength to persevere. You remained hopeful regardless of what was happening around you in your lives, regardless of how your finances may have been impacted by this succubus type of energy, this incubus type of energy, these leeches. Um, I feel like you remained hopeful because you knew that you were absolutely destined for greatness. And Archangel Mikael is here along with Baba Ogun, and they're both very, very protective um, deities, very protective angels. They do not play. Um, they come in, they both carry swords, uh, so they are capable of cutting karmic so, so, uh, cords, excuse me, cutting karmic cords, breaking generational curses, breaking yokes. Um, so you were divinely protected, and that's how you were able to remain hopeful. Um, when you are in that star energy, um, she is connecting to that divine energy. That eight is a very divine symbol. The infinity symbol is a very divine symbol. And so you connected uh, and you channeled whatever energy, whatever divine intervention you were receiving, you used it to transmute whatever negativity was being thrown at you. So someone that um, absolutely, this person fears rejection. They may deeply care for you, but the way that they show love um, looks very, uh, very uh, 
um, very much like hatred, very much like jealousy, very much like envy. Um, we have R. Kelly religious love. So there is someone, um, I feel like, scratch that. This is someone new. Um, someone wants to come in, but they're fearing rejection. Uh, maybe this is someone you know already. This is not an ex. This is someone that you could have had a connection with, and the two of you may have kind of like drifted apart. Um, I feel like someone does want to come in because we have religious love, and remember, you have love and happiness and spiritual union. Maybe someone in the past was being an attention whore, was being very superficial, um, was thinking the grass, you know, uh, not even the grass. They thought, you know, that the sun rose and set on their ass. They was very, uh, very pompous, you know, very arrogant. And so now they want to return. They want to come back. Um, but they're fearing the rejection. They're fearing how you're going to respond. Um, I definitely feel like this person does love you. I am feeling genuine love. I just feel like maybe this person um, lacks confidence is what I'm hearing. But let's see why spiritual baths is here. So that religious love, this person does love you because religious love and spiritual union are one and the same. And R. Kelly is seeing religious love. So I do feel like this is a very beautiful connection. This person was a very superficial. You know, maybe this person was all about, you know, looks, money, you know, maybe they didn't see your worth. Maybe they liked the attention of multiple people. Maybe they had a lot of people around them. So why is spiritual baths? Are necessary here for Scorpios to learn spirit of love and light. Why is spiritual baths are necessary here for Scorpios to learn spirit of love and light? Why is spirit? Thank you, spirit. And so we have love language. So this is about cleaning and clearing and purging um, this past person, making sure that you're in alignment so that you can have this religious love so that you can uh, attract what you desire. I feel like that's what a lot of you did. I feel like a lot of you um, definitely went into um, you know, that state of, you know, just focusing on releasing. Um, many, many of you probably went to the ocean. The ocean is the best and most amazing way to really cleanse yourself, to heal yourself. It has, the, the ocean has very powerful healing properties. Um, just being in the ocean is very healing, but I also feel like many of you also, um, have just been loving on yourselves. The spiritual baths also bring you into that state of loving thyself of healing thyself and when you do those things uh it brings you into alignment to know thyself so i feel like many of you have learned what your love language is by healing yourself we have diamond d here um singing uh rhyming this one and so with diamond i feel like you all realize that you are diamonds in the rough that you are unique that you are beautiful that you are rare and that you have a lot to offer um and if someone didn't see that if someone didn't appreciate that if someone didn't like really nurture that within you, you realize that they didn't deserve you. I feel for many of you, uh, you had to heal, you had to purge, you had to release um, because there was a lot of negativity that you all were carrying around in your spirit, uh, doing part to that, that toxic relationship, that karmic relationship. I feel like if this person was um, in fact an attention whore or someone who was, you know, creeping around, sneaking around, cheating around, um, I feel like a lot of you were feeling those feelings of confusion, bondage, because whoever they were sleeping with, it was almost like they were transmuting those individuals' energy into you when you were intimate with them. So I feel like for a lot of you, that's what those cleanses were, um, because you were rest, you know, you were you were being intimate with incubus succubus energy. So this purge, this release, this cleanse. Um, brought you to the enlightenment and to the awareness, into the truth of what your love language is. And now that you know what your love language is, um, you're not going to settle for less. You're not going to definitely, you're not going to deal with anyone who's not reciprocal, uh, with no reci uh, reciprocity, only take, take, take. That's what you were dealing with. So this person was taking from you. I feel like I'm hearing they were taking your energy, They, you know, energy vampires and incubus succubus energy. They feed off of the energy of those they, they lay with. And so while they're feeding off your energy because your positive energy, your light energy, um, 
they were stealing your energy, but also they were um, inserting their negativity into you. And that's what the spiritual baths were. Um, that's why you were requiring that. Even just being around energy that's very negative, very low vibrational, a spiritual bath is, is necessary uh, because it allows you to purge whatever evil intention. Um, but I do feel like with this love language card, you all have discovered what your love language is. You've discovered what you require. Um, and you definitely aren't dealing with this type of energy because you have uh, set, your, set your standards higher. So you want someone that's going to come in and, um, you know, what you put into a connection, you're looking for the same to be put into it. You want equal give and take. You want a happy house, happy spouse type of union. You want someone that's going to add on and not take away. So divine spirit, why is unplug here? So we have forgive me. I know I broke your trust. So someone is, um, and I feel like you've disconnected from this person. So someone knows that they uh, broke your trust. Um, they're going to ask for your forgiveness. Um, and I feel like the divine is telling you with the unplug, disconnect, and unwind. Uh, I feel like they're telling you to, you know, because you're currently not in communication with this person. I feel like you've definitely created some sort of distance, some sort of um, healthy boundary between you and this person. Uh, because they were such succubus, because they were such the energy vampires, they were like leeching off of you. Um, I do feel like this person may return with an apology and the divine is telling you to connect to your higher self to gauge how to um, respond, to retort uh, to this person's, you know, um, apology. Um, we have um, Michelle something in my heart. So something is someone is realizing they have something in their heart. Um, maybe some of you are feeling like you still feel something for this person, but I don't know if you all are going to um, feel enough to go back into a union because you all have discovered what your love language is and you want someone emotionally intelligent. You don't want to deal with someone who's just um, flighty, who's you know unreliable, who is only a taker. So we have what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So this person absolutely was sent to teach you uh, self-love, to teach you to stand in your power, to own your power, to demand your respect. I feel like you have come a long way um, and you've learned a lot about yourself, but you've also learned a lot about what doesn't work for you in a relationship. And although someone may come around and ask for forgiveness, I feel like you're not going to um, take them back because you know what you deserve now. So that's powerful. I feel like now you're going to really be very caring and loving on yourselves. And self-love is attractive. So you're going to be caring and loving on yourselves right now. You're doing you. You're focused on you now. Maybe in the past you were very selfless. And you were just giving all the time. And that's why that no reciprocity only take, take, take. Because a lot of you were self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging. And you weren't setting boundaries with people. So they would just come and take what they needed and bounce. And I feel like now you're just really like, you're loving on yourselves. Self-love makes you more attractive. And this is what's magnetically pulling real love, true love into you. People who don't have an issue um, with showing love. Because that's their love language as well. And with something in my heart, I feel like... You know, you're, you're discovering um, what's passionate to you. You know, you're listening and trusting what you're feeling. Stop looking, listening. Um, stop looking, listening. It's about, you know, being discerning, you know, observing, you know, paying attention to the energy. Um, I feel like rejection is for your protection is saying that that past person that was an attention whore, that was all over the place, that wanted to be a player, um, you know, they, they definitely rejected you for someone else, thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. And unfortunately it just wasn't. And so now they're realizing there's something in their heart towards you. And I feel like it's because they're starting to see you in a different light because you never gave up. You never let up. Um, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger means that you fought, 
you know, you, you scratched and, and clawed and, and, and crawled to, you know, the end of that dark night of the soul tunnel. You never gave up. You kept your head to the sky and you kept trying. You kept pushing forward, even though this person did everything to destroy you, to break you. Even leaving you for another person was enough to, you know, break you, to, to, to break your spirit. But I feel like even in that pain, you used that pain and transmuted it to show all of your haters, all of those naysayers, all of those who doubted your abilities, who didn't see your worth, your value, you've proven them all wrong. And now they're seeing you in a new light and they're seeing you as that star. They're recognizing you for the star that you are, for the divine feminine, the divine masculine that you are. I feel like many of you, you're starting to be happier. You got to turn that frown upside down. There's happier times coming in. Remember toast. So there's the an energy of like, you know, really celebrating your victories, your success. Other people are noticing it, taking note, and that's why they're like jealous. Many of you have been healing yourselves. Heal thyself is all about, you know, taking the time to, you know, really do the internal work. You know, healing isn't just about, you know, saying that, okay, I'm okay. You know, the relationship ended and you just say you're okay, but everything um, in your life is topsy-turvy because you're not eating right. You're not resting right. Um, you're, you're turning to self-medicating. Um, you're not really doing the internal work to heal at a soul level, to really release that pain, to really let go and of that person. And even the animosity, the resentment, the hurt, the pain, that requires a lot of internal work. And I feel like for a lot of you, that's what you all have been doing. It's deeper than just saying, I'm over it, you know, to your friends, but then in private, you're crying. Um, you know, it, it, or, and there's nothing wrong with crying, but it's like, get to the root of why you're crying. That's what healing entails is getting to the root cause of it. And that's why the root chakra is ruled by Scorpio. So it's like you, you got to the root of the problem and that's why you discovered your worth. That's why self-love is attractive. Something in my heart, you realize something in your heart, you know, something in your heart wasn't being fed something in your heart wasn't allowing you to settle. Many of you meditated to get things straight. You took the time to go within, to connect to your higher self. That's the same as unplug, disconnect, unwind, and connect to your higher self. Meditating to get things straight. Connecting, transmissions, downloads, receiving communication from your guides, your angels. You know, there's also, you know, multiple ways of communicating with source, with your angels. Uh, yesterday, I um, woke up at 555, and when I went out on a nature walk, I found five feathers. And that is the way that the, cannot, the, the divine um, lets you know that they're with you. They spiritually guide you. They give you the downloads. They let you know by those means that they're not only with you, but also they're guiding you on your path. And so I feel like that's what's happening with a lot of you. You're seeking clarity. You're seeking truth. And you're being spiritually guided on your path. So that's powerful. And um, we have elegant people playing by weather report. So elegant people, be thankful for what you got. Be thankful. Um, I feel like you all are very elegant. You're very, very, um, like I said before, like a lot of you are very, very unique, very special, very rare individuals. Um, with that diamond D playing, I feel like y'all are like the diamond in the rough. You know, people are finding you to be elegant, finding you to be very regal, very royal, having this air of confidence about you, this energy of self-love, like you're, um, you know, it's like you're emitting this self-confidence, you're radiating this love, this peace, and I feel like, you know, this is drawing people to you. Look at this, you attract what you are, mind your energy. And so with elegant people, I feel like you're a magnet. So you're attracting what you are right now. So as you, you know, raise your vibration, Scorpios, you're vibing higher. Now you're also attracting other people on the same frequency and vibration. And that's why that love and happiness is here. So God's spirit, let's tap into them. You banish, you purge, you released a lot of negativity when you took your spiritual baths. 
I feel like there was a lot of haters, a lot of naysayers, a lot of people preying on your downfall, but you've released, you've purged, you've let go of all of that. And now that you've released that past person, a lot of, a lot of elegant people are going to start entering your life. A lot of amazing people, a lot of like minds, A like, B like, a lot of unique people, a lot of gifted people, a lot of spiritual people. And you're going to be very thankful, very humbled. I feel like a lot of you are humbled because so much amazing things are happening and it's like almost overwhelming. Like, oh my goodness, I can't believe all of this is happening. You realize whatever wasn't growing was dead and now you're choosing to live now. Now you're choosing to live for yourselves. And that's part, doing part to you really taking um, the time to release what wasn't serving you, to you know purge the negativity. And the divine wants you to be forgiving. Showing forgiveness is always for you. And this person that's coming and asking for your forgiveness, the divine is telling you it's okay to forgive them because the forgiveness is ultimately for you. Some of you are not communicating with this person and they will reach out to you. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to connect to your higher selves and you're going to draw, you know, some sort of um, conclusion about how to deal with this person. But I feel like the divine is telling you it's okay to forgive. You also have a lot of evil eyes. We already know that because you have people who are in secret competition with you. So people are definitely stalking you. I'm hearing online stalking, gang stalking. I'm hearing people driving by your homes. You know, if they know where you reside, this is like exes for some of you all. These are people who's just like constantly like tuning into your channel because they're in a competition. They're secretly envious, jealous, you know, and they're wishing and praying on your downfall, but you need it right because you got the fiery wall of protection and you got by Baba Ogun here. So you're, you're divine and protected. You needn't worry about any of that nonsense. So the bottom of the deck, this is going to clarify love and happiness, spiritual union, and attention whore. And we have R&R. &R. Rest and rejuvenate, rest and recalibrate, rest and recuperate. This is my Riri card. So I feel like this is also, also saying that um, Mercury retrograde, you know, retrograde brings people back from the past. So I feel like someone, you know, that you have absolutely detached, disengaged from, and focused on taking care of yourselves, healing yourselves. Um, someone may try to come in. I feel like this is someone that, you know, you had to go into this rest and recovery mode, you know, you, you had to heal from the situation because you was dealing with someone who had like an, a wandering eye, someone in and out, someone who was like, um, someone who was a commitment foe, someone who required the attention from other people. That's how they felt validated. That's how they felt seen or heard or special. This is someone who really didn't get a lot of attention when they were younger. And so, you know, they, 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 unfortunately, they may have grown up in like a large family. And so they didn't really get a lot of attention. So they love to be the center of attention. They like to be flashy, very loud very seen, braggadocious, just, you know, and I feel like a lot of you had to really heal from that. You know, you had to heal from someone who was giving their time and energy to everybody else, but very limited time for you because we did see no reciprocity only take, take, take. And we have gang start playing, take it personal. So I feel like you took it personal when this person mistreated you. And this person is going to take it personal when you come into union, into a spiritual union with someone new. Because they're going to realize, like, you know, you're, you're getting back out there. You know, when you when Scorpios start getting out there and they, they are open to new love, it's only a matter of time before you find someone on your frequency and vibration. Because you're already radiating this self-love, this confidence. You're already radiating this power, this strength. But I feel like it was due in part to you taking the necessary time to emotionally withdraw and during those times of, you know, emotional withdrawal, you kind of, you did exactly what the card says here, which was unplug, disconnect, unwind, and connect to your higher self. And I feel like with that rest and rewind, rest and recovery, um, that's what you did. As you rested and recovered, you, you know, re replayed a lot of things in your mind while you was doing this. This is reflection. This is introspection. This is taking those internal self audits. And this is also identifying you know, what was broken within yourself. 
and then you know taking the necessary time to do the internal work that spiritual work that internal work is you know necessary in the healing process you've discovered a lot about yourselves but you also discovered you were dealing with someone who would not be satisfied with just one person they required the attention of multiple people they were socialites they like to be out in public like to be seen like i said they was just you know all over the place this is someone who's very charismatic charming but I also feel like a lot of you are going to start, you know, socializing more. You're coming into union with people on your vibration. You're going to be meeting your soul tribe, your soul family, making very powerful soul connections. I feel like you're going to meet people who are literally like, just like you. Have the same interests in music, in life, in spirituality, just commonalities. It's just going to be really dope. And I feel like you're getting you out there more. You're feeling, you know, because many of you, like I said, were kind of, you know, you're coming out of this rest and retreat, rest and recuperate mode. So you're, you're, you're now, you know, stepping out. Maybe during your solar return, you're going to be more social. You know, so divine spirit. Why is Baba Ogun breakthroughs victory here? And you are unlike anyone I've ever met. And so we have first stop. So intuitively and discerningly, you're going to know. You know, like I said, it's just like you, this person that's coming in. It's just like the chemistry is going to be off the chain. You're going to know that this is your person. They're going to know that you're their person. And we have um, we have uh, Ellie Barner, Poor Me, Future and Wale. Yeah, so I feel like this person is like literally going to like take you out, wine and dine you. We got Purge, and this is clearing. I feel like, you know what, Divine is telling me to put the cards where they go, you know. So with this first eye here, because this purge flew out also, but maybe it does go here because first eye and purge. So I feel like you saw some things clearly, you know, you saw some things clearly um, for what they were. You started to pay attention to people's words and actions and uh, you noticed that someone was not being their authentic self. So you released them. You let go of what wasn't serving you. And that was the breakthrough, breaking free from karmic connections, breaking free from generational curses, from faulty belief systems, ideologies. And as you break free from what no longer serves you, you come into union with people who are on your vibration and frequency. And that's what the breakthrough was. You're going to meet someone who's unlike anyone that you've ever met. This is how they may feel about you. This is what they may say to you, like, dang, you're like unique. And then we have poor me. And so this person may, you know, invite you out because we did see socialize, get out there. So they may invite you out to, you know, have dinner, to have some cocktails and conversation. Because remember, you had toast. So the two of you may, you know, sit down and, and, and have a glass of wine, build, get to know one another. There is this, this very strong chemistry you're going to feel from this person. And I feel like because the night is going to be going so dope, it's going to be going so great. Neither one of you are going to be leaving. You're not going to want to leave the connection or leave, you know, that restaurant or that eatery or that, 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 um, lounge. You're going to be like, waiter, can we have one more? <laughs> it's like, you're going to do anything to extend that time. I feel someone's mustering up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come towards you. Because we have the chemistry is real. Words are unspoken. Love. So someone that you're not speaking to definitely is trying to muster up the strength and the courage to come towards you. I feel this person feels this strong chemistry. I also feel this is someone you already know. Someone you are not communicating with because it says words unspoken. So even though this person and you have not spoken, they have not revealed to you this feeling of love. They have not revealed to you their attraction, their desire to be in a real connection, a deep connection with you because they want love and happiness. I feel this person's very successful, but they also see you as someone that they can build with, that they can grow with. They can have this emotional longevity. They could also have some sort of um, financial connection as well. I do feel like, you know, a lot of you have taken your power back. You've turned your pain into power. Whatever you experienced with this past person, you have purged. You finally released it all. You finally let 
let it all go. You let it all go. You let it all go. And now you're flowing on. You trusted your intuition. You trusted what was happening around you. You trusted what you were feeling. And I feel like a lot of it was because your angels, your ancestors were giving you the signs, the synchronicities, the breakthroughs, or the downloads, I should say. So why is this chemistry here? Why is the chemistry is real? Words are unspoken in success. Whoever this is that's coming in, they're very successful financially. They could be like a boss. What did I say? Look at this. Yin yang. So your twin flame is coming in Scorpios. This is the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin. This is someone who definitely wants to, and, and this is the success card is um, wish fulfillment as well. This is someone you all may have manifested. This is someone you did when you first met this person or when you first meet this person, you are going to know instantly there's something special about this person. There's something special about this connection because you're going to just hit it off. It's like y'all going to have a conversation and it's just going to, everything's going to be like, you too, me too. You too, me too. Like, it's just going to be so dope. And I feel like this person that's coming in, I feel like, you know, they're, they're going to bring balance. They're going to restore the balance. Because I feel like for a lot of feminines, you've had to take on a lot of masculine energy just to find balance. And I feel for a lot of masculines, you had to, you know, kind of tap into your feminine energy to find balance. But I feel like this person, whoever's coming in, is they're going to bring the balance. They're going to bring a sense of harmony to this connection. Because they're, like I said, they're a mirror reflection of you. The past person was a reflection of who you used to be. This mirror reflect, this new person that's coming in is going to be the mirror reflection of who you've evolved into, who you've ascended into, who you've transformed into. That past person was the death of you. That was the person that triggered your transformation. That's powerful. Many of you are very talented, very creative, very artistic. And I feel like that's what a lot of you did. A lot of you tapped into your creativity. A lot of you were mastering crafts, keeping yourselves busy, not focusing on the problem with infinite possibilities. Keep your head to the sky and keep trying and fiery wall of protection. I feel like your angels and guides were guiding you to focus on something that you were creatively working on. That's that Aphrodite energy. That's that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. The divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create, is to be creative, is to tap into that creative um, juice, that creative space. And that's exactly what you all did. And in doing so, that is now bringing you into a space where Whatever you were working on, you're going to start seeing the, the fruits of your labor. It's like there's things are blossoming. So for some of you, if you started a business, for some of you, if you already had a business and, you know, you were just working on mastering your craft, I feel like things are going to start thriving. Remember, you had a, a promotion, pay increase, lucrative business deals, and you also had financial freedom, the success card come out. So I feel like whatever you were working on, you remained hopeful, you remained resilient and diligent in this process. You stayed focused on mastering your craft and now there's abundance, there's prosperity. Someone's coming in matching your fly. Someone's coming in speaking your love language. Someone's coming in that is going to be in alignment with who you are, a spiritual union. This is powerful. And we have subliminal playing by Flowetry. So someone could definitely, you know, be you might be receiving like literal subliminal messages from the divine because the divine will communicate to you. Like I said yesterday, I went outside and I literally manifested those five feathers because I spoke it into the universe. I woke up at 555 and I, you know, tend to when I'm out in nature, I kind of, I talk to myself, you know, I talk to myself, I, not even to myself, well, I do, I speak to my higher self, but I also speak to the divine and I was just like, you know what? I feel like today I'm going to find a feather. And no sooner than I got those words out of my mouth, a feather was sitting right there in the grass. And not only was that one feather there, as I continued to build and walk out in nature, I saw so many things. But it's like you're going to receive subliminal messages that the divine is right there with you. Your angels, your ancestors are there protecting you. Excuse me. This is powerful. But I manifested those five feathers and I woke up and, and I, and that's why I post on my page, all of the synchronicities. I can, if I posted every synchronicity, like y'all would get tired of me because I see synchronicities all day, every day. 
every time I look at the clock, it's like a synchronous, it's a message. It's like message, message, message. And it's going to be subliminal, you know, it's powerful. Infinite possibilities, keep your head to the sky. And then we have subliminal. So there's going to be subliminal messages. Many of you, um, if you look up into the clouds, I also scry with the clouds. I scry with anything, to be honest with you. I scry, you know, scrying is when you could see, you know, powerful um, imagery in the clouds. So many of you may be looking up in the clouds and you're like, oh my God, I see an elephant. Oh my God, isn't that a dog? Oh my God, I see a face. Oh my God, I see an angel. You know, so those are also messages. Those are ways that the divine communicates with you leaving feathers, you know, subliminal messages, number synchronicity, songs, somebody just calling right when you think of them, subliminal messages. And we have I'll Call You Back by Erica Badu. So um, playing right now. So somebody may call you, somebody that you didn't speak to in a while. I feel like someone is going to definitely communicate with you. And, and that's it. it. Don't get no more subliminal than, you know, someone reaching out. So why is infinite possibilities? I feel like a lot of you are remaining hopeful about a reunion with someone. See that? What did I say about you all turning your pain into power? So you all have definitely overcome some things. This, 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 whatever this daunting situation was with this past person, I feel like you turned, you leaned on your strength and you did so because you had the protection of your angels and your ancestors and your guides. Your spirit team does not play about you. They brought you to this victory through this breakthrough because you all remained resilient. You persevered. That was your doing. You didn't focus on the problem. You focused on the solution. You didn't let that past person's whoring and, and, and uh, disingenuousness and their lies and their deception and their envy and their cheating and their betrayal thwart your plans or block you from your happiness and your peace. You remained resilient. If anything, you allowed all that they did to fuel you. And that's why you're having the success. You turned your pain into power, rich, literally and figuratively. That's powerful. And forgiveness is for your betterment. So the divine is telling you to forgive those who hurt you. Because some, you know, people know not what they do. Hurt people hurt people. And we see that every single day. And I'm going to put this here because I feel like that's where that message goes. Forgiveness is for your betterment. That showed up during the pre-shuffle. So I'm placing it under the unplug, disconnect, unwind, and connect to your higher self. And forgive me, I know I broke your trust. So the divine wants you to forgive this past person because the forgiveness is for you. And it allows you to once and for all completely release that past person and move forward, upward and onward and into love, peace, happiness, spiritual unions, success, joy. This person can't hold on to you unless you release them. If you don't release them and you're holding on to them, you know, through energetically, through being frustrated, aggravated, angry, then you're just going to be bound and stuck, stuck and stagnant, stuck in that, that whirlwind of negativity. I feel like many of you are alchemists, magicians. You know how to focus your attention on what you want and you manifest that shit in real time. You're very powerful. Like I said yesterday, I stepped outside and the energy was just so powerful, so profound. And I literally said, I spoke the words, I'm going to see a feather. And no more than a couple of steps away was a feather sitting right there waiting for me. And later on in my walk, I said, I feel like because I saw 555 five, five today, I'm going to find five feathers. And absolutely, I found five feathers. And so this is just the power of words. You speak things into existence. A lot of you are starting to own your powers. You're starting to acknowledge your powers. You're not afraid of it anymore. And I feel like this is why others are hating also because they can't understand or understand how are you able to do all of this. Not only did you survive their fuckery, their lies, their deception, they tried to destroy you, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Remember that showed up. Not only did they do that, but they destroyed the castle you all were building in. So financially, a lot of you were in spirit of lack. A lot of you were robbing Peter to pay Paul, trying to get back on your feet, trying to make things work because there was, you know, that other person's income was gone because you all separated. You, 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 co you know, you completed the cycle. So you severed the tie. So now you had to figure out how to be independent, how to stand alone. And you absolutely did that. Not only did you do that, you've remained hopeful. You knew that you could do it. 
You spoke that into existence. Everything that's happening in your life are things that you've manifested. Give me one moment. It's not pausing. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. So some of y'all may receive a phone call. Somebody's definitely going to call because we did have Eric Badu. Um, I'll call you back. Right now we have, um, who is this playing? We have Roots Rate Radicals. Dedication. So many of you definitely were dedicated. You were dedicated to you know, to your, your healing process, to your happiness, to finding that love, that balance back into your life, to restoring peace in your life. We have four tongues. So remember, that's what you're cleansing. You're, 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 you're um, cleansing and releasing this negativity. And we got survival of the fittest playing by Mob Deep. So these people who were, you know, doing everything to defame your character, because remember we saw talking because they have lips gossiping ass fools those people were trying to do everything to defame your character to spew lies to try to influence other people they were dedicated to this too they were dedicated to to destroying you you know and remember i was picking up the divide and conquer you know so they were trying to divide you know folks you know to bring people on their side to go against you i feel like for many of you um you discovered that and as you started to like really work on yourselves heal yourselves um, and also purge through doing, you know, the cleanses because these people could have been doing, like I said, ritual work, spell work, witchcraft, um, just to bring negativity into your life. Um, you discovered that you realize these individuals were not speaking your love language, but I also realize, um, I feel like you also realize that you were powerful and you could demand what you desired. You can command these people out of your lives as necessary. So this is powerful, but these people are, um, you know, you are surviving because you're strong. You know, you, you, you kept your head to the sky. So that's hope, you know, that's optimism. That's knowing your power. That's knowing who you are. And so we have here on the split of the, um, awakened soul, um, Oracle deck, we have trust and then we have vision. And if you look on this trust card, this is literally, you know, what transformation looks like. This is the death and the rebirth all in the same. So it's like this this lava, it died and it grew, it, it, it was born, reborn, reincarnated as a caterpillar. This caterpillar was reborn into this beautiful butterfly. Many of you may be seeing orange butterflies and orange represents the um, sacral chakra. And that sacral chakra is all about creation. It's all about strength. It's all about that Aphrodite energy of um, love sexuality, sensuality. Um, but you've turned your pain into power. And I feel like you all are very, very powerful right now because you've, um, you've changed your lives for the better. You've transformed, you've grown, you've healed from past pains and wounds. And I feel like it's because you finally saw things very clearly. Your first eye was open. That first eye on her crown shop, on her first eye rather, right there in the middle of her forehead shows that you know even though other people were sleeping on you you were still seeing everything they were doing including the liars the deceivers speaking through a forked tongue the attention whores you paid attention to their actions and not their words and with this big moon in the background not only does that you know speak to your intuition being very powerful magnetic but it also speaks to the lies the secrets that were you know that were being hidden from you so we're going to get one message from the oracle deck um, spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpio? Um, spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpio? Um, spirit of love and light, there goes that perseverance, persevering through all of the negativity. This is a handicap sprinter, but she did not allow her handicap or her disability to stop her from doing something that she's obviously passionate about. So this is a very beautiful energy of someone persevering through all of the negativity, keeping your head to the sky, knowing that there's infinite possibilities. So advanced spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpio? And we have notorious B.I.G. team, crack commandments, and we have healing on the bottom of the deck. So for you all, the 10 commandments, 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm picking up on Ten Commandments. Uh, with the healing there is like, you know, the Ten Commandments are literally, that's how you maintain justice and, and um, balance, you know? It's like a universal law, if you will, spiritual law. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you, you know, someone definitely um, was going beyond that. The notorious B.I.G. Um, is rhyme the Ten Crack Commandments. And so I feel like, you know, with the commandments, I feel like you've held true to some of your spiritual beliefs, to, you know, to your own deeper understanding. And that's how you were able to heal. You, you began healing. You know, you started this healing process. Uh, and this is what's bringing you to this beautiful space of power. You know, you never let up. You never gave up. I feel like with 10, um, that's showing up. I feel like that's also speaking to, you know, the completion of the cycle and you doing the necessary healing. And it was obviously uh, something that has allowed for you to grow. The more you healed, the more you grew. And I feel like you healed, especially from some love connection, from some sort of love partnership, even if it's family oriented or a love connection or even friendships. I feel like there was clarity. There was epiphanies. There was illumination surrounding some of these love partnerships and you're healing from that. And I feel like with the 10, you know, that 10 reference in the song, I do feel like that's speaking to completion the completion of a cycle. So that's powerful. The bottom of the deck, we have dream. And that's exactly what infinite possibilities are. Remaining hopeful, remaining positive and optimistic and holding on to your dreams ultimately. On the bottom of the deck of the Halloween Oracle, we have the ancestors. So this is powerful. It says the love and legacy of our DNA. So your ancestors are absolutely protecting you, guiding you from the spirit realm. They're giving you guidance. They're giving you spiritual guidance, I should say. You're spiritually guided and divinely protected. And I was picking that up because you have a lot of ancestors. You have Baba Ogun and you have Archangel Mikael who showed up in the reading. So they're protecting you from the secret haters, from you know negativity, from hatred. So you're divinely protected. This is beautiful. So your ancestors are with you. So if a lot of you do call on your ancestors, you are surrounded by them. You're walking with your ancestors daily. You don't, some of you may not realize that. So we have moments in love playing by Art of Noise. So I'm feeling like someone is like having a lot of memories of love you know it's almost like they're replaying a lot of scenarios in their mind of a love they shared with you so art of noise is it's telling me that it's very you know their conscience you know is is getting the best of them because now they're realizing you know how profound this connection was and they didn't appreciate it nor did they value it. So we have ghost. Look at this. I didn't even see the card. So there's someone suffering from regret. There's a lot of regret. Maybe you all have regrets that things didn't work out in the way that you had hoped. We have hearth. Happiness in our hearts and homes. I feel like that's exactly what you all are experiencing now. And someone is having regret because they're seeing that you have restored yourselves. That you're happier that your home is stable maybe they thought that when they left or maybe they thought you know whatever they left you for was going to be better and it absolutely isn't we have the high priestess harness mystic power on the bottom of the deck so you're highly intuitive very psychic remember that visions card showed up and you also had um first die here which shows that you're highly intuitive very discerning I feel like a lot of you, you know, with that empath card also, it speaks to your being very intuitive, trusting what you're feeling. Many of you get sensations when you're around certain people. You may feel, you know, a certain sensation, a drop in your stomach or your gut, 
or you may feel that just regularly, you know, and that's a sign, a sign that your angels are with you. If you feel the tingling and your hair stand up, that could also allude to the fact that you have angels around you. But someone is in deep regret. You know, maybe that's you, you know, regretting, you know, having deep regret. But I don't feel that's your energy at all. I feel like someone else regretting, you know, the way that they've treated you. But I feel like you all have been doing a lot of healing in the process. You are highly intuitive. And I feel like whatever someone did, you know, to you, they're regretting it deeply. And that's why I was picking up with moments in love that someone was kind of like, you know, really... They have a guilty conscience of the way that they behave in the past. You know, maybe someone ghosted you. Maybe someone was like literally thinking that they was, you know, the Dawn, thinking that they was Queen Sheba. So we have on the bottom of the deck, it says summer, bask in joy and light. So that's what you're doing right now, Scorpios. All that success, this is like happiness is coming in for you. And the divine is telling you to bask in it. Remember, um, turn that frown upside down, showed up. So many of you are absolutely very satisfied, very overjoyed, you know, because things are changing in your life. And I feel someone's also watching you bask in all of your joy and all of your glory. And it's giving them a lot of anxiety. It's making them very remorseful for the way that they behave. Because as I said before, they can't ride your coattail no more. They simply can't because you've you've um, become hit to the game bottom of the deck we have unconditional love so this could be you know someone new that's coming in that's going to love you unconditionally or this could also speak to this past person that loves you unconditionally the divine is reminding you to love yourself others in every situation no matter what the outward appearance may be and then we have moments in love playing they're out there cutting grass I hope this is not too loud in the video Divine spirit. There goes that divine feminine energy. Remember, I was picking up on you all being that divine feminine, that divine masculine, really in a very creative space. And this is all about, you know, giving birth to new ideas, new conditions. That's why the divine is reminding you to just be creative, be artistic. Divine spirit of the night. What messages do you have for our beloved Scorpios from the guidance, guidance deck? All right, so they gave me a couple of messages. It looks like three. Bottom of the deck, we have purification. So what was I saying? This is the same as spiritual baths are necessary sea salt. And I was also telling you to visit the ocean because the ocean has very powerful healing properties. Some of you may need to do like um, an offering to Mama Yemenya, to Mama Oshun. But many of you, absolutely, um, it's time for a cleansing, you know. And so that spiritual bath came out. So you all do need to uh, take it very seriously. You know, when messages repeat, that means that, you know, this is definitely double confirmation. So you have guiding children. So many of you, when I speak, when I hear guiding children, I feel like you're guiding your own children and you're guiding them through the pain, the hurt, the trauma that was, you know, um, that they experienced through the breakdown of a relationship. But I also feel like many of you could be counseling them through that pain, nurturing them through the pain, and helping them to heal ultimately. Many of you could also be counselors in your profession. Many of you may have channels where you are self-help um, practitioners, counselors. Many of you could also be doing like teaching tarot, where you could be um, healers, shamans, light workers. But I definitely feel that you have a gift to help heal others. And we have um, Dan Roy Morgan. I'll do anything for you. So I feel like a lot of you, you you would definitely, we already know, Scorpios are very loving, very loyal. So you definitely will do anything for those you love. And I feel like for your children, you're really focusing on their betterment, on their health and wellness, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And you're really guiding them through and navigating them through the pain, through the trauma, very beautifully. And the divine is noticing that. They're noticing, you know, how much you've, you know, helped not only yourself heal, because remember, you have healing. So I do feel many of you are healers, are shamans, are light workers, that you're coming into, you know, clarity of who you are and what you are. And you're owning it now. 
And with this divine passion, it says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's truest desire? So I feel like many of you, you're answering some sort of call, spiritual calls. You're realizing and discovering who you are and your magical beings. You have the ability to master manifest whatever it is that you desire, turning your focused intention into reality. You're a magical person. So you're speaking healing on yourself, speaking healing onto your children, onto your family. You're breaking generational curses. And I'm hearing chosen ones. So you all are the chosen ones. You were chosen for this. And that's why with the breakthrough, victory, and success card, I am feeling like a lot of you, you know, you are, that's why you're so protected because you have some sort of, um, some sort of powerful gift. Please pardon me. I think they're working on the roof now. Not only are they cutting grass, be, be mindful of distractions also, because people could be trying to distract you, you know, off your course. And remember, a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention. So Divine Spirit, let's tap into the reading. I'm going to use... I'm going to use traditional tarot. I picked it up and I'm going to use it. So we have the Hermit on the bottom of the deck and I did reference the Hermit with that Rest and Rejuvenate, Rest and Recalibrate card. So many of you definitely healed. The Hermit is a wizard so he knows the answers he seeks are found within. So many of you knew to go within to find the answers. And this is the same energy. See that? Rest and rejuvenate. That's what this is. Emotional withdrawal. Healing from past pain. Healing from deception, betrayal. With that attention whore there. Someone that you love deeply. And you realize that this person, you know, in the song, I'll do anything for you. So this was someone that you literally would do anything for. Someone you were very selfless with in the past. And now you know to hold back. This person could be trying to hold on to you. Because they're still in your energy, this past person. So they refuse to let you go. Look at that. I can't make this up. They want to hold on to you. And they want to reconcile this connection. You're going to make a judgment call. And I feel like for many of you, you know, because they're rising out of these boxes, these dark boxes, which represent to me, you know, like that dark night of the soul. I feel like you're awakening to what you desire, what you deserve. And you're not going to settle for less. See that? You're moving away. You're moving onward, upward. Forward move, you know, forwards ever, backwards never. So you've moved away energetically. I feel like, again, that's also speaking to no communication. But yeah, you know, someone was non-committal. You know, someone was definitely non-committal, but now they're rethinking this whole thing. Maybe someone, someone got some sort of wake-up call. I feel like you're coming into a spiritual union, as I said. Twin flame energy here. This is the 1111 card. Some of you could be seeing 1111. And with the chemistry is real, words unspoken, and then you have yin-yang. There's a twin flame absolutely coming in for you. And this person is coming in. It says three the hard way. So maybe someone um, is looking to come in, you know, and have like, you know, a family dynamic. Because when I think of three, I think of the trinity. Look at this. Someone's coming in to offer you stability, security. This is new beginnings. This also falls in line with financial freedom, success, promotion, pay increase. Some of you all are receiving a new job offer. Some of you are going to be signing a contract for a new business deal. Some of you all are receiving unexpected money. You're buying a new home, getting a new apartment. Maybe you're relocating with that six of swords. Some of you could be relocating to a whole new space, a whole new home. You got keys to a new home, got keys to a new vehicle. Money is looking right. Someone is offering commitment, love, peace, and happiness. That's what this is here. Love and happiness and spiritual union. Someone's going to come in and they want to offer you commitment. This is someone investing long term, seeing your worth, seeing your value, and the divine is sending this person. And I was feeling like the divine was orchestrating this behind the scenes, conspiring behind the scenes. And this new person that's coming in is absolutely coming in after the completion of a cycle. Whenever I see this, this always reminds me of the world card in the traditional tarot deck. And so this is the end of the difficulties. All those mountains denote the difficulties, the drama, the trauma, the pain, the hurt, the betrayal, the loss, but ultimately now the gain. So every ending denotes a new beginning. And this is you taking the leap of faith, trusting the process, being fearless, going after what you want. The breakthroughs is here, victory, success. I feel like someone is coming back, someone's returning, someone who knows that they were foolish in the past, 
someone that knows that, you know, they should have took a chance with you. And they're willing to come in and take the sleep of faith. Because they realize, you know, that you are unlike everyone else, you know, anyone else. Maybe they feel foolish because they got a third party involved. They were caught up in some sort of entanglement. And we have three the hard way by Bahamadia plane. So I feel like this person was trying to get you caught up in an entanglement. And that's what you purged. And I feel like when you purged this person, you had a major breakthrough. You wasn't going to be the side piece. You wasn't going to be nobody's kickstand. You wasn't going to be the other nothing. You was the main or you was nothing. And I feel like you purged what wasn't serving you. You let go of that connection, let go of that person. They were feeling very foolish. But I feel like a lot of you, you're, you're taking a leap of faith. You're going towards your dreams. We got justice here. So this is karma dharma. This is what you put out in the universe. You get back. I feel like there is good things coming in for you. The chemistry is real. Words unspoken love. And then you have success, yin and yang. So there's going to be some balance restored. And I feel like because you remain just, you remain righteous, and you remained on your square, there's good things coming in. And this is a union, a spiritual union, someone who's coming in with the right intentions, someone who's ready to communicate some sort of truth, confess some sort of truth, express something to you. And with the yin-yang, I do feel like, again, that's represent, representing the balance, the harmony. And I feel like good things take time to create, so maybe, you know, divine timing was of the essence. And we have this four of wands. So you do have a twin flame coming in. Because this justice card, this is like Mama Ma'at. She has everyone's address. And so not only does success, not only is success coming in, but remember, I said you're going to have emotional fulfillment as well as financial fulfillment. And I knew that there was some sort of twin flame coming in because all of the cards are showing that with love and happiness and in spiritual union. So someone's coming in and they're going to want to marry you. They're going to want to invest long term. This is someone you're going to end up living with. You're going to be very happy. This is the epitome of love and happiness and a spiritual union. It's going to be very, it's going to flourish. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a profound connection. And we have holding you down by James, um, Jasmine Sullivan, excuse me. So this person is going to come in and hold you down, hold you up. They're going to be your backbone. They're going to be your support system. They're going to be your best friend, your homie, your lover, your friend. They're going to be your spiritual partner your yogi partner, your jogging partner, exercise partner. They're going to be a father to your children, a mother to your children. They're going to step into that role and take it seriously. This is someone who has long-term commitment. They're investing. This is investing. This is powerful. And they're taking this leap of faith. Wow. So why is infinite possibilities? Keep your head to the sky, fiery wall of protection and power of pain. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. King of Cups. The King of Cups is coming in. What did I say? This person's coming in to claim you. They're coming in to offer this to you. I feel like this person has been overburdened and, and really um, really releasing a lot from their past as well. They were in a, a toxic connection and I feel like they have this 10. So that also is telling me that they've completed some sort of karmic ending or karmic cycle. I feel like for many of you, you all have remained hopeful, as I said, and you are, you know, attracting someone that speaks the same love language, someone that has their eye on you. And withholding you down, I feel like this person is at a distance, but they are coming in. They're going to come in and communicate. I feel like in the past, this person could have been like, you know, maybe foolish she says, I've been so stupid, foolish. So maybe this was someone that you, like I said, I was picking up on the fact that someone that you knew, someone you knew, you have two um, major arcanas. So this person's making a decision, I feel, to come in, you know, they're making, they're mustering up the courage, you know, because that pain over power, like, that also speaks to like courage, strength, you know, also. So someone's mustering up the courage to come in and communicate. This person is like very reserved emotionally, but they know they need to communicate something to you. I feel like you protected yourself from this person because maybe they were emotionally manipulative in the past. You know, maybe you felt like they weren't being honest or they weren't being transparent to, you know, towards you. But I do feel like they know that they have to, you know, they have to emote and this Ten of Wands, I feel like there's no communication. And they're wanting to change that. They're definitely watching you. His eyes are clocking. So why is spiritual baths so necessary here? This also could be your energy just being in your 
in your power. You have the high priestess again, highly intuitive. So you knew intuitively that you needed to clean, clear, cleanse, purge, release, let go of what wasn't serving you. You knew that someone was a deceiving, deceptive, snakish, disloyal, dishonest, backstabbing, lying, cheating, gossiping, ass fool. You knew. They did not speak your love language. They were not on your frequency or your vibration. And I feel like this person wants to come in. Maybe they played a lot of games emotionally, wanting to come back, toy with your emotion, and then disappear. They would lie. They would say things that they think you want to hear, and then they disappear. But I feel like there's some secrets. This person is still holding on to some secrets, but you are the keeper of ancient wisdom. So you, you read energy. You know, you're highly intuitive, you're clairvoyant. This is scorpionic energy to me. I feel like someone's also wanting to come in and communicate and confess the truth. Look how this King of Cups is just glaring and staring at this high priestess. Someone knows you're very intuitive as well. They know it, it, they know you can feel them, that you can feel them approaching because I see this boat. So I do feel like there's distance, you know, but I also feel like this person wants to travel to see you. A lot of you definitely listen to your intuition and you have released you know some past energy entity let go of something that wasn't serving you maybe many of you discovered some sort of secrets discovered someone was deceptive discovered someone was a liar but I also feel like a lot of you are also discovering your power doing internal work healing at a soul level requires deep diving so many of you are deep diving and we have the knight of swords so there is incoming communication and we have unplug, disconnect, unwind, and connect to your higher self. Forgive me. I know I broke your trust. And forgiveness is for your betterment. And we have Kashif. I just got to have you. So this person is trying to come in, rush in, talking about they just got to have you. They want you back. They want your forgiveness. But I feel like for forgiveness that you're going to give them is just accepting the apology, but not necessarily rekindling a relationship. Because I feel like, you know, if someone is untrustworthy, you're not, you, you, you just simply cannot take them back so we have three of wands so someone definitely kept you waiting but I also feel like something you're manifesting is coming in maybe you've manifested this conversation manifested this apology been waiting for it because this person was trying to have a bunch of options this was the attention whore having multiple people multiple suitors being confused and conflicted not knowing what to choose who to choose what to do and now they're apologizing, ready to take action. Your ships are coming in. So something's coming in that you've been anticipating. This is the ready, set, go. But I also feel like when I look at this card, I see three wands, but he's holding on to one. So this is like, you know, that ready, set, go means like planning, preparing, and taking action. And you're taking action because you received some sort of download. You're prepared. These two wands are being left behind and he's holding the one staff. So there's a new beginning that you're ready to go and venture off into. And we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck I'm going to use to clarify. So this is emotional fulfillment, contentment, joy, peace, happiness, love, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This is a spiritual union. This is that love and happiness union. This is the yin-yang union. This is family time. This is connecting. This is fellowshipping with family, reuniting with family, bonding with family. This also could speak to, like I said, emotional fulfillment. Someone coming in wanting to offer uh, some sort of marriage, you know, offering, um, you know, not even offering marriage, but someone asking you to marry them. Someone giving you a wedding ring, an engagement ring. This is powerful. And we have, I just got to have you by Kashi. Lover turned me on. So you're turning someone on. Someone is turned on by you. And we have the magician. So maybe you've been manifesting this person all along and maybe they've been manifesting you. But with this Ten of Cups, you're manifesting something real. This is a real um, emotional fulfillment that happened the other half third. You don't want no play. You don't want no play thing. You don't want no toy. You don't want no games. You want someone that's going to come in. This is the games that you're releasing. That's probably, you know, that manipulator, someone who's manipulating things so that they can get what they wanted. You know, having a bunch of options. That attention whore superficial someone who got you know excited and enticed by a fat ass and a cute face or that female who got excited and enticed by a big wad of cash and a nice car ten of swords there was deep betrayal hurt pain but this is the completion of a cycle letting go of someone who was treating you like an option you was just one of many but not the main so darn spiritless 
Cut the deck, clarify the messages. Divine Spirit, Love and Light. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So something you've been working hard for, something you've been working very diligently on, you're now seeing and reaping the benefits of your reward. So this is why success came out. This is why lucrative business deals. I also feel someone is wanting to come in and work on this union, work on this connection. This is going to be a very emotional and financially stable union connection with this love and happiness and spiritual union. And I feel someone is going to be very frustrated, perturbed because, you know, whatever they went chasing after, it was lackluster. And now they're going to have to sit back and watch on the sidelines. You have this joy. You have this abundance, the success, the stability. It's like things are happening very beautifully for you. In the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. So when someone betrayed your trust and was acting foolish, chasing after anything that had a pulse, when they were out here running and, you know, creeping and sleeping and sneaking and being foolish, I feel like, you know, you mustered up the strength, courage, and wisdom to persevere through it. I feel Baba Ogun gave you the foresight. If you look closely, the strength card has about six eyes. So this is about paying attention to your intuition and that's how you were able. And remember, you also had first eye here, you know, so I do feel like you started to listen to your intuition and you started to be more discerning. And I feel like that's what let you realize that someone was absolutely juggling you and another person. And I feel like um, what happened is you released that person with the purge people, places and things. When you realize you weren't being appreciated, you weren't being valued and someone was out here taking risks without even thinking about it. You know, willing to risk it all just for a one night stand or willing to, you know, just throw away a family or throw away a relationship just for, you know, a one night stand. It, it was just like it was eye opening to you, to say the least. But I feel like this ultimately led to some sort of breakthrough victory. We have um, Weldon Irvine playing Morning Sunshine. So I feel like that's the illumination, the clarity, the truth. That's that breakthrough. That's what Baba Ogun brought you to. And that's ultimately why you're going to have this, this victory and this success. Oh my goodness. And this person is very perturbed. These cards just like literally like somebody's pissed off at that. They're pissed off at the fact that you were able to break free. You were able to see through their, you know, through their games, through their, their lies, their deception. Let me get the card that flew all the way. And this is the sun, the sun card. So with this morning sunshine and then sun is the last card I pick up. Yeah, you, you gained the clarity. And you also did your healing, your internal work. You also took your, your power back. But I also feel someone is coming in. Someone that is new, that Baba Ogun is bringing into your life. This person is going to realize how special, how unique, how rare you are. Because we have the sun card and two people are on this card. So there's going to be some spiritual union. And there's going to be love and happiness here. Because that's on the... And this is a spiritual union, man. This is something that the divine is conspiring behind the scenes to bring to you because you all have did your work. You've done the due diligence. You're not just out here expecting stuff and you ain't doing the work. So why is the fool here? Somebody's going to feel very foolish because they lost a good thing. They're going to feel very foolish. Look at this, the Ten of Swords. So this is definitely speaking to someone who had no regard, no regard for your feelings. Look how he's just drifting. Off. He's like stabbed you in the back and now he's going off to go and you know, do whatever he does with this impulsive energy, not taking risks, you know, biting into forbidden fruit. But this is what you felt. You felt betrayed. And this is what you had to ultimately release, let go of because this person betrayed your trust, but it was necessary because, you know, you can't have a, a freaking testimony without being tested. And so this was a testimony. This was to test your self-love, test your strength, test your vitality. Are you going to sit here and let somebody treat you like that? Let them go drift off, go do whatever, and then come back and act like they're interested and in only to do it again, only to repeat history? So with the Ten Swords, that tells me that this is not just one person. And remember, the Ten Crack Commandment was, was plain. And I was feeling like, you know, there was, you know, this was um, just kind of like veggie backing off the fact of the 10-year cycle or even beyond 10 years. For some of you, it could be up to 20, 30, 40. But with this person... I feel you gave them chance after chance and they was just very foolish. They didn't really see your value, see your, you know, your worth. 
you know, and they're going to see it when it's too late. And they're going to see it when someone else absolutely appreciates it and values it and treats you like the divine feminine, the divine masculine, what you truly are. And I feel like many of you, you know, with the 10 swords, it reduces to the ace. So that 10 reducing to the ace, you now see things clearly. Your first eye is wide open. You gain that epiphany, that aha moment. You knew it was time to cut this person off, purge the person. People, places, and things. Baba Ogun, like I said, carries the sword, same as Archangel Mikael. So you were able to take that sword and cut that karmic cord. Ashe. And so we have the Ace of Swords. I didn't even see this. <laughs> see how the universe worked? I love you, Divine. So the Ace of Swords, this is you. New perspective on life. Looking at things differently, seeing what you need to change, coming up with new ideas, coming up with new ways of thinking. But this also speaks to clarity, truth. This also speaks to, you know, karmic, karmic, you know, cycles coming, you know, karmic cycles um, that have come to a close, you know, completing a karmic cycle. I also feel like this is someone coming in to speak a truth. Someone that has something to get off their chest, they want to say it, and this is going to balance things out. This could be your twin flame, your soulmate, there's communication that is coming in. And we have natural playing by Gangstar. So there's going to be a natural chemistry. As we see here, the chemistry is real, words unspoken. So you're going to just have this natural chemistry with whoever this person is coming in, and they're going to come in and speak a truth. I feel like this is someone you already know, or maybe this is someone you may not know, you know, because he's wearing a mask. Who knows? We'll see. So why is uh, justice here and uh, clarifying chemistry, success, and yin yang? And why is the chemistry is real? Thank you, spirit. So it could be a cancer. The moon is here. So a truth is going to be revealed. Someone is going to express themselves honestly, communicatively. I feel like whatever was being hidden in terms of someone's feelings is going to come to light. Because this moon represents intuition. Maybe intuitively you know that, you feel that, you sense that. But I feel someone is going to speak a truth because the, the moon definitely is um, reflective. So I feel like whatever was hidden is going to come to light. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be brought into fruition or it's going to be revealed is what I was trying to say. But I am feeling like, you know, you, you could feel it, sense it. Maybe this is something you're feeling and sensing. And I see the five of swords. So maybe there was some level of deception in the past. There was some level of deception. Someone may have said some things that was not really true because that does fall in line with the moon and now they're having to eat their words, their balance being restored. Maybe karma has, you know, visited someone. Someone got a dose of karma for their, you know, their actions. Whatever was in balance is being brought back to balance. Why is infinite possibilities here for Scorpios? Why is infinite possibilities, fiery wall of protection? power and king of cups so you have the ace of wands so there's absolutely someone wanting a new beginning when why because there was an ending so this person wants you know there was some sort of ending of a cycle and i feel like you were being protected this ultimately taught you to stand in your power regardless of what was destroyed you rebuilt because you remain hopeful you knew it was your birthright you knew it was necessary your soulmate is coming in you got raheem divine and this is clarifying the king of cups and who is you know, a divine feminine, the, the, you know, the queen of cups, your soulmate would be the king of cups and vice versa. For the king of cups, your soulmate would be the queen of cups, you know, or the suit, I'm trying to say, twin flame. So that is the perfect suit. And I feel like there was a tower moment in the past. Maybe some words were said because, you know, I'm, I'm seeing here with words unspoken, this person is feeling very deeply about you, you know. And I feel like you had to take your power back. Maybe this person was giving you very little, you know, and, um, you know, was not really reciprocating. But I feel like for you, you protected yourself. You put up a guard. You put up a boundary with this person. But I also feel like, you know, uh, the destroy and rebuild card is all about, you know, something being built on a faulty foundation. And so if something's built on a faulty foundation after time, after enough, um, after enough, weight and heaviness is applied it's going to bring it down and so i feel like it was necessary i'm hearing the uh, a deep cleansing so there was a cleansing necessary you know and i feel like this person is realizing but i feel like there's distance but there's also going to be some sort of communication there's action 
there's definite strong attraction, physical attraction for you as well. This person wants to rekindle, wants to offer an olive branch. They see your worth and value. Maybe in the past they didn't. Maybe this person looked past you. Maybe there was some sort of family, you know, belief systems, you know, something that they, you know, were holding on to that just simply was not, um, it wasn't befitting for this connection to develop and forge. But I feel like you remained hopeful and positive and optimistic. You didn't let anyone discourage you, discourage your, you know, or even make you feel like you were less than, you know, I feel like this person did hurt you, but you took your power back ultimately because you knew your worth and value. But this is a soulmate, you know, so this person was brought into your life to teach you this valuable lesson. And with this nine of pentacles, I feel like you've discovered your worth and value. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what you bring to the table. And I feel like you've, you know, like I said, you didn't focus on the problem. You focused more on the solution. You focused on your creativity, your artistic um, skills. And I feel like you're starting to see the, the, the you know, your, the, your fruits are harvesting. You know, what you were reaping, they're starting to, you know, harvest. There's a reward here. And the divine is showing how hard you've worked. And in the oak intro, we saw that you were working hard. So, you know, your hard work is paying off and someone's noticing that you are a hard worker, that you are worthy, that you are valuable, that you are beautiful. I feel like a lot of you are healers, shamans. You're very grounded, very down to earth. You're not afraid of hard work. You're very domestic. You're very resourceful, very practical. So with spiritual baths, why is spiritual baths, love language, pork tongues, and the high priestess? Why is spiritual baths, love language, pork tongues, and the high priestess here for Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. The Nine of Pentacles flew right back out. Did you see that? It flew right back out. So this is what you discovered. You discovered your worth. Someone was projecting. Someone was projecting their insecurities. Someone was jealous because they saw that you were headed for greatness. They were head, You were headed for stardom. So someone was projecting. They was keeping a lot of secrets, trying to hold on to you because they saw that you were going to be successful. They were trying to ride your coattail. They didn't want to put in any work. They just wanted to benefit from it. I feel like this person was a deceiver. They was codependent on you. This person would lie like a rug, say whatever. I feel like you had to purge, clean, clear, cleanse, detoxify your energy to get this person out of your energy or energetic field. This person definitely was not someone that you needed to be with. And so this person wants to come back together with you but they don't speak your love language you know your love language now and i feel like you know your love language because you took some you took some deep dives as necessary and you discovered a lot of a lot of things that was hidden within you as well such as that you were settling such as you was not demanding what you required what you desired you was not asking for someone to give you the love that you needed you know that attentiveness that affection so you had to clean, clear, cleanse. This brought you to the truth. This brought you to enlightenment. If someone was doing voodoo, hoodoo, juju, that you, you purge that shit. And I feel like you're aware anyway. The Ten of Pentacles is right underneath that. Look at that. This is what you're manifesting. You know your worth and value. You went from the eight to the nine. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. And I feel just like I said, your angels and guides are conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into union. Remember, um, I was picking up on the Trinity, the three, as I said, three the hard way. And the initial thought was like three, meaning man, woman, child. But, you know, this is what I'm seeing. I feel like someone that's coming in is absolutely, this is what you're envisioning for yourself. This is the love language you're speaking or what you desire you, someone to speak to you. Someone that's going to work alongside of you and not work against you like this past person who had a bunch of holes all over the place or a bunch of dudes all over the place who didn't have the truth in them. You're manifesting emotional and financial fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. This is longevity. This is a family unit. This is legacy. This is building, growing. This is a support system. This is a powerful spiritual union. And this is a very beautiful energy because you've worked for this. You know your worth and value now. You know your love language, and that's what you want. You want someone that's going to come in and invest. Now, someone that's going to come in and fly out as soon as they came in. You don't want that in and out. You don't have a revolving door. And so you're purging that. You're releasing that. You're getting rid of anybody. You don't even attract that to you anymore. Why is unplugged? Forgive me, forgiveness, and the three of wands here for Scorpios. 
and we're gonna wrap up the message. God, Spirit, love, and light. Wise unplug, forgive me. Forgiveness, thank you. So you have the two of cups. I can't make this up. Twin flame energy. Twin flame energy. You coming into union with your divine masculine, divine feminine. This is something you're ready to take action towards because you see exactly what you need to see. I feel like with this unplug, disconnect, someone's going to come in trying to distract you because I kept picking up like a distraction because someone's going to sense that you're coming into union with someone that's especially made for you. And this is just exact. like, look at this. This is leading to marriage. Someone's not coming into play. They're going to speak your love language. They're absolutely bringing something to the table. You can see they're both bringing chalices. So nobody's cup is going to be empty. Both cups are going to be full. And I feel like when you come into union, someone's going to want to come back and apologize. You're going to have to make a decision because I kept feeling like there was, you know, some sort of decision that you were going to have to make, you know. And so this past person, you got to release this past person. They're riddled with regret and remorse for the way that they've behaved. And they're riddled with regret and remorse because they're going to see you living your best life. We have the Knight of Swords. So they're going to try to come in and confuse you, but they're still wearing a mask. They're fully armored. So they're not going to be honest, communicative, or transparent. They're going to still be coming in, lying, hiding things. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to speak your love language. You're taking action because like I said, this is the ready, set, go. So this is planning, preparing. This is the master manifesting card. So you've manifested this and you now see your ships coming. What did I say about this king of cups? There is a ship on this card. So you could see these ships coming into dock on the three of wands. And here you could see the ship right here. So this king of cups is coming in. It could be a queen of cups. Switch the roles. A king or a queen is coming in to claim you, to come into union. You had the yin yang card. You had the four of wands show up during the pre-shuffle. Let's see what's underneath. You got the knight of cups. You got the knight of swords. You got a lot of communication. And there is deception in somebody's communication. So someone's going to try to be, um, like I said, a distraction. To distract you from this twin flame union, this spiritual union. This connection that is absolutely divinely orchestrated. So someone's going to use emotional manipulation. They're going to apologize for pat their misdeeds, their past actions, but they don't speak your love language and they're immature. They're a knight. You got a king on the board. You're not going to fool around with it because they're being deceptive. So they're trying to trick you. See how this baboon is tricking this lion so that he can drink water and the water represents emotions. So I feel like this person is going to try to emotionally manipulate you. They're coming in as a knight. So they're still foolish. They're still immature. So you're going to have to be wise. I feel like you already know. You're also the high priestess. So you already hip to the game. You already know somebody's lying and cheating. You're focused on a new beginning. This person is trying to keep themselves attached and bound to you because they see that you have success. We already know that they're hating. We already know they're jealous. We already know that they're deceptive because it's showing up in the energy. And so that's why you purged. That's why you had access denied because you've blocked this person already. And, um, but stay focused because you got a true twin flame coming in and it's because you all have really done the work. Spiritual union. We have the rulers back by Slick Rick playing. So this was absolutely someone who was trying to rule over your life. I'm hearing emperor or empress, somebody who could have been overbearing, controlling. Um, and that's more so the emperor. The empress is not really that. She's more loving, nurturing, caring, and kind. I feel anybody in their low vibration could be that, but I'm feeling like this was the mother or the father to your child who is very controlling, very um, demanding. So with the rulers back, they're going to try to double back, come back and say something that's completely the furthest from the truth. Because remember, you got forked tongues right next to it. So this person is going to come back and try to bedazzle you with your words, try to get you caught up in the illusion. They're going to use emotional manipulation offer you this fake cup of love you know they're going to ask for your forgiveness because they know your triggers they know your emotional beings but they're being deceptive so be mindful of that use your intuition i feel like you already know you're the high priestess so i'm uh, this is like preaching to the choir you know what i'm saying 
But um, I thank you, beloved Scorpios, for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope that you all stay a while. I hope the reading resonated with you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, and the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, my beautiful Scorpios, you already know what it is, babies. Love is love is love. I do have a special announcement. Announcement. Before I delve into that, I want to give some shout outs to a couple of folks who have been blessing me with cash apps. I appreciate all of the love. I appreciate the kindness. Um, I don't look for it, but when I receive it, it's very humbling. So I thank you, beloveds. I want to give a beautiful shout out to Angelica. Thank you so much for your beautiful donation. I appreciate your kindness. I also want to give a beautiful shout out to Bethany my hawk my love i love you thank you so much for your kindness for your just just that that appreciation is just it's it's well received so thank you so much i also want to give a beautiful shout out to lisa tambasco thank you my beautiful queen i love you my soul sisters i appreciate you all your acts of kindness does not go unnoticed thank you so much i appreciate you now i have some news that i would like to share so I have been receiving a lot of requests for personal readings. And as you all know, I was not doing personal readings because I wanted to wait for, you know, for the green light from my guides that it was okay for me to do so. And this past weekend, I did receive the download that I can begin um, doing some personal readings. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in October for our season. Um, it's really going to be Libra season into October season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the best of me and being as though I already do like two hour readings, you know, general readings twice a week. I didn't want to overwhelm myself because I do work a job. I am launching my Etsy shop within the next week or two. So I've been working very tediously on that. So I don't want to overwhelm myself and I don't want to water down messages. So what I said I was going to do or what came to me was to do like five readings a week. So one reading a day. So Monday through Friday, I don't do anything on the weekends because that's my family time. So I'm going to start um, arranging that, setting up pricing and even the type of readings, you know, and what they're going to center around, whether it's going to be love or whether, you know, I can, you know, just give you guys the option to ask three questions that you're interested in knowing and then I do the readings that way um, I haven't figured out anything as of yet because I literally just got the download this weekend and so I have to you know work out the the you know the kinks uh, and the deets <laughs> but um, I did want to make the special announcement and I am very humbled by all of the requests the email requests um, and I feel like you know that was the divine telling me that I am ready um, and I sat in meditation and they said, you are absolutely ready. So I'm very humbled. I'm very excited. And I'm just very humbled because I feel like, you know, the fact that you all are um, giving me the opportunity to, you know, to read for you. That's a very personal and intimate um, process that I don't take, you know, lightly. So I'm very humbled by that. But I do want to let you all know that that's the exciting news. Um, as far as pricing, I'm not going to be acting crazy with the pricing. I'm very humble. Um, you know, I do, you know, um, know that time is currency. So I will take into consideration the time and energy that I'm putting into the readings. Um, but it will be fair. So I don't want anybody to, you know, be too alarmed with anything uh, moving forward. But I did want to make those announcements. I do thank you all for showing love. I thank you all for showing and love to each other this beautiful family is just it's coming along so nicely i truly envisioned all that is taking place i love the comments i try to um respond to everyone's uh, messages i really try to make that a thing but it's like getting the channels growing so fast it's it's really hard to to um message everyone uh, but I, I will definitely get back to your comments. Uh, I've been working really hard, like I said, to get my launch, my store launched within the next week or two. I already missed my initial date, which was in August. So I definitely want to do it before October. So I've been, you know, in here working with the moon cycles because everything I do, I set intention and I work with the moon energy. Um, so I have to do them at specific times. Um, 
So it's been a lot of work on my end, but I'm very excited to be able to provide a personal reading for you all in the upcoming month. So thank you all for your requests. Thank you for tuning and tapping in. I hope that the reading resonated. Again, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit that bell notification. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, love is love is love. Ashe.